Hey guys, welcome back to the MyGo YouTube channel. There's been a lot of talk online about the benefits of far red um, in terms of grow lighting and growing cannabis and very little evidence to date. All of it really has been sort of bro science. Well, now in the last 12 months, there's been two very extensive studies published um, where they've done control tests on using small amounts and large, up to larger amounts of far red and seeing what effect it has on both yield and quality and the results are fascinating. In short, uh, very slight, um, adding lots of far red is a very slight increase in yield but uh, it will reduce the potency, the quality in terms of cannabinoids, terpenes etc. So let's look at some of the theories surrounding far red and what results we got from these experiments. So in the last few years, scientists have experimented with far red and they've proven that far red is photosynthetic. Even though it stands outside of the photosynthetically active range, the PAR range, um, it is actually photosynthetic. So from about 700 nanometers up to 750 nanometers, uh, if you add those far red photons, you will get more growth. We also know that far red has a particular effect on plant shape. Um, that's the, you know, the morphology of the plant, the way the plant grows. And if you have a high level of far red, it will cause the plants to stretch. That is, the distance between the internodes where the branches are will be increased. And um, this is because in nature, a high amount of far red in the spectrum is telling the plant that it's in shade. So if, if you are out in the midday sun, there's a very similar uh, amount of red and far red. Um, if you go into the shade, the red is, is um, reduced, and, but the far red penetrates, so you get a higher proportion of far red to red. And this tells the plant that it's in shade and causes this uh, stretch, it signals the plant to stretch to get out of the shade and reach the, um, reach the sunlight. And you can see this image from one of the experiments we're going to go through. It shows the effect of this higher percentage of far red. Um, so in one case we have 3% far red and the plants are fairly short and dense and the buds are nice and compact. And in the other uh, situation we had a higher percentage of far red, 25%. And you can see the plants are very tall and stretched. We don't want that in an indoor situation. We want the plants to remain short and dense because we're in a confined space and the buds will get quite airy. There is a phenomenon known as the Emerson effect. And although quite complex, basically what it says is if you have, uh, if, you are, if your spectrum has red, that's deep red around 660 nanometers, if you add a proportion of far red, and deliver them both together to the plant, that the combined, the growth from that combination will be more than if you put them in separately. So that you're getting this sort of multiplier effect with, with, um, with adding far red. In the test that, um, in the scientific experiments that we're referencing here, they looked at the, um, the flower yield um, compared to the percentage or the quantity of far red in the spectrum. And as you can see, it's indicating there's a very slight increase in um, yield when your percentage far red goes up from 3%, which is what it would be normally from any sort of white light, um, up to about 11% where you'd be adding in far red LEDs into your um, normal spectrum. So very slight increase in yield. However, I would also say that far red LEDs are more expensive. Um, to purchase and therefore you could have just provided a little bit more light to increase that yield and it would have been a lot cheaper. In these two experiments the uh, final harvest was tested for cannabinoids um, that's uh, CBD, uh, THCA etc and in both cases in both experiments one where there was a, a slight increments increase in far red between 3% and 11% you can see that um, there was actually a very slight decline in percentage of cannabinoids with the higher percentage far red. In a more extreme case where there was a comparison between 3% uh, and 25% higher far red, there was a very dramatic decrease in cannabinoids with the, with the much higher percentage of far red. So it appears that a small amount of far red will not affect um, your potency negatively, but as you increase you have a bigger impact and reduction of um, cannabinoids and therefore potency. In terms of the quality, 
in terms of terpenes, so you know how much of a, a smell, how good the aroma is from the harvest. Again, in both experiments, uh, it showed that the higher percentage of far red will, re will result in a lower percentage of terpenes. And this was uh, a, not across the board, not every terpene was affected equally, but when you look at them on average, and the most, um, one of the most critical ones, which is myrcene, um, that's the one that's uh, known to be related to the sort of relaxing effect of, um, of cannabis. Uh, there was a definite reduction as that um, far red percent, as that far red percentage increased, the, um, the, the proportion of terpenes reduced dramatically. So in summary, all the evidence that I've seen is that a lot of far red will have a negative effect on the harvest quality. So my own perspective, I would not, not advise uh, using a fixture with a high added um, amount of far red. Uh, smaller amounts of far red, so up to that sort of 8, 9, 10 percent um, far red out of the total spectrum, I would think that it's, it's certainly not going to do any harm. It'll probably stretch your plants a little bit more than they otherwise would be, but not a huge amount. Um, it may have a very marginal effect on um, on your potency, on the quality of your harvest, but I, I wouldn't worry about them. I certainly wouldn't change my light fixture uh, if that was the case. But from my own perspective, making lights myself, um, I would not be adding them in. Uh, they're more expensive than you know par um, output LEDs, so just white LEDs or red ones. So you know if you wanted a higher yield, just increase the light intensity. Um, if you want higher quality don't use far red, that's the message, or at least don't use a lot of far red, that would be the message that, um, that I'd say. So, uh, don't know that it'll end the argument, but uh, hopefully people are starting to see that there's evidence coming out, objectively, objective evidence with, you know, proper tested results, um, controlled results, and uh, as I said, all the indications are that it is a waste of energy, time and money. So there you go, looking forward to the reaction to this one, should be good. Uh, please leave the comments down below and take care.